So tonight, I said we're talking about a very special lesson. We're going to talk about the Passover. All right, the Passover. Can you say Passover? Passover. Yeah, we're going to talk about the Passover. What's the Passover? Oh, Malachi, I'm glad you made it. How are you doing? I'm so tired. Do you know how hard it is to fit a camel into a tent? Yeah. Oh, I, and then I need to know if you have any more lamb's blood. Because I need to put some on, on the outside, on our door, uh, not, the entrance of not, our not, tent. Not. Yeah, because I'm, I, the, the angel of death is coming again. No, 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 so no, I'm no, just no, so no, tired, no. I couldn't find any. And I was just making sure that you still had some. We no, better no, hurry no, up because no, it's no, getting no, late. Okay. Just, just have a seat, buddy. We're, we're not, the angel of death isn't coming again. That, that was, that we're, we're celebrating the anniversary. The angel's not really coming again. And why is the camel in your tent? I didn't want to be scared. I didn't want to be scared when the angel of death came by. But you said he's not coming again? No, the angel of death. Malachi, why don't you sit down? I was just getting ready to tell everybody about the Passover. So the Passover is the celebration of that moment in which I went to Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, <coughs> let my people go. We were slaves in Egypt for 400 years. And God sent me to Pharaoh saying, you tell Pharaoh to let us go. It was before we went into the desert. And did Pharaoh say yes? No. He said no. You know, he said no nine times. And each time God sent a different plague. Until the last plague that God sent, the tenth plague, was the Passover plague. It's called Passover, just like Malachi was saying, because the angel of death came and visited each house. And the angel of death went house by house by house, taking the life of the firstborn. And, 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 and the Israelites, God said, look, this is how you are to celebrate and do the Passover. You are to take a lamb, you are to kill the lamb, and put its blood on the doorpost, just the doorpost, around the door. And when the angel of death comes by and sees that blood, it will pass over your house. Yeah. And that's why it's called the Passover. We had a special meal we had to eat that night. And every year we still celebrate by eating a special meal and celebrating the Passover. Ooh, do, do you guys have special meals? I think you guys call it Thanksgiving. Or there's turkey and there's, there's, there's gravy. Yes. Yeah. But we do Passover. And we celebrate that. And it's right at the time of Easter. And tonight, to celebrate Passover, we're going to do communion. Malachi, would you get our communion for us? Huh? We're going to actually do communion tonight. What's, What's communion? I'm glad you asked. You see, when the Israelites were in Egypt, it was the blood of the lamb on the doorpost that saved them. But now, Jesus came and died on the cross. You know that story? Jesus died on the cross, and it was Jesus' blood that saved us from sin. And we say things like, we have been washed in the blood of Jesus. We have been cleansed through the blood of Jesus because Jesus died on the cross for us. Because he loved you. Because he cared for you. He gave his life for you. And we celebrate that. So tonight, we have bread that we're going to take. And we say, this is the body of Christ broken for you. And we have juice that we're going to take. And we say, this is the blood of Christ poured out for you. And we take our bread and we dip it in the juice. And then we eat it. So, Remember so that we're, Jesus... We're, we're, we're eating body yeah. and blood? No, no, we're not really eating Jesus' body, and it's not really Jesus' blood. This is just bread, and this is just juice, but it's a symbol of Jesus' body. You know what a symbol is? No. So how many of your mommy and daddies have a wedding ring? I got one. Do you got one, Malachi? Yeah, I got a... Now, this wedding ring isn't my marriage, is it? It's a symbol that tells people I'm married. It's just a picture that says to people... That's what he's doing, all right? He's in love with his wife, all right? Communion doesn't really become the body or the blood of Jesus, but it is a symbol of the body and blood of Jesus. All right, so we're going to take communion tonight. 
Now this is beautiful because Jesus took this and he gave it to his disciples and he said, this is my body broken for you just as the lamb was slaughtered. You see, John comes along and he says about Jesus, he says, that's the lamb of God come to take away the sin of the world. You know what sin is? Anytime we do something wrong or anti-God, that's sin. And so tonight we remember that anytime we've disobeyed our parents, anytime we've lied, anytime we've cheated, anytime we've stolen, anytime we've done anything wrong, Jesus says it's washed away and made clean. Another way to remember this is that I have trouble touching God. Do you have trouble touching God? Yeah, I have trouble touching God. And so I like to think of communion as God's hug that we can feel. He's given me a hug on the inside with the bread and the juice. So Malachi and I are going to serve communion tonight. So I need you to be careful here. Is everybody going to drink from that cup? No, we're going to take the, a, a piece of the bread, and we're going to dip it in, and we're not going to get our fingers in it, just a little tip of the bread, and then we're going to eat it, just like this. It'll be tip of the bread, and then we eat it. And that's how we're doing communion tonight. So we're going to come to you one by one and serve you communion. All right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? All right. And then what we need is we need our adults to go first because after communion, you're going to walk over there and you're going to paint a bag. Ooh, See my bag up here in the wall? All right. We have little bags and when you unfold them, a bag and you set it down, it can look like a house. But we're remembering the Passover and the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. And so you're going to take a paintbrush and paint a doorway. And then when it dries, later tonight, you can come back and pick them up after v VBS is over. Or you can get it tomorrow. And when it dries, then you can color in the rest of the house. And you can remember that you took communion. And it reminded you of the Passover. And the blood of the lamb saved your family just as it saved your life now. So we're going to ask our adults to come forward. All right, and then we're going to go over there and, and start doing communion. We're going to do it one tribe at a time. All right? One tribe at a time. 